my name is Audrey Elizabeth. And I'm Lauren Elizabeth. Welcome back to Pages of Eliza's. Today we're going to talk to you about reading slumps, aka the worst thing a book nerd can experience. <laughs> it is. So aggressively <laughs> unfun. We have five reading slumps that we both experience mm -hmm. on separate occasions, and we're going to explain them to you, and we're also going to talk about how to get out of said reading slumps in our own good individual ways. It's a good, it's a good tool for to have. you book nerds out there. For all you book nerds. Our first one is the Netflix reading slump. All you want to do is watch Netflix, and so none of your books are being read. There's no time for reading sad. when there's Netflix. That's not a good thing to have. <laughs> so the way I get out of the Netflix reading slump is, and this is terrible, I recommend this on occasion, but not always, is I just binge watch whatever show I'm caught up on on Netflix so that I can finish it, and then I can read. Like, I just gotta get through it. Even if it's like 10 seasons, I'm like, you know what? I can get this done like two weeks tops. <laughs> and I just bust through it, and then I can read again. It's amazing. So what do you do? Okay, to get out of that one, I just like force myself to pick up a book and read it. And once I've read for like 10 minutes or more, then I... I've started to get into them, and I'm like, why have not I been reading? This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just have to like force yourself to get that book out and yeah, yeah, nice. it's, it's kind of, it's really hard. But. Our next reading slump is the not interested reading slump. When every book that you pick up is just not sticking with you. It's not a fun one to be in. How do you get out of it? Um, sometimes I just read books, I pick up a book that I know I might have read over and over mm -hmm. and that I know will be a good one and then that will kind of get me back into the like groove yeah. I guess of reading so. I pick up a book that I wouldn't normally read so one that's a little bit out of my typical genre I like to pick up contemporaries when I'm in an uninterested slump because they're usually pretty light and I can get through them pretty quick and they make me feel like, ah oh, yes, I can read again. <laughs> Our next slump is too busy reading slump and it's so bad. That's the one I'm in right now because I have so many books to be read and I really want to read them but I'm stuck in this one book because I don't have the time to finish it. Relatable. And it's just a, a struggle. It's so, Ugh. it's a struggle. So the way I get out of the too busy reading slump is I find times that I can read when I'm normally like sitting on my phone or watching Netflix or just doing something that I don't need to be doing. I could be reading during that time. Any like five minute period when I can be like, yes, I can read now. I always have a book with me just in case I have any of those times, which really help with the too busy reading slump. I wish I did that, but <laughs> sadly I don't. Um, what I do is I read for hours on the weekends and then hopefully finish that book so I can go on to the next one. It's so bad, but sometimes I, when it's a not very busy school week, I bring my book to school so that like whenever there's just like a pause, like sense. breaks or whatever, then I pick it up and start reading. That makes sense. Yeah. Our next reading slump is the nothing to read slump. Uh, when you are looking at your bookshelf and like you know you have stuff to read, but you're yes. like, oh, I have nothing to read. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, how do you get out of this slump? Oh man, I, I don't know. I don't think I've even like found a way to get out of that slump yet. I just came up with a solution to this one. Like I didn't have a before. I was gonna say what you said. I was, I was gonna be like, I got nothing. I don't know how to solve this one. Uh, one thing that I think I will do in the future, from this point forward, when I get in this reading slump, is reorganize my bookshelf. Mm -hmm. Then I can take tally of all the books that I haven't read yet. Like not actually like read them. I'm like, oh, I haven't read this one or this one. But like as I'm putting them back on my shelf or as I'm taking them down, I can be like, oh, I haven't read this book yet. I haven't read this one either or this one. Or because to just be reminded. Of just be reminded of which ones you haven't read and which ones you have. That's good advice. Up to up. Teamwork. The last slump we're going to talk about is the too many books to read. This is a bad one. <laughs> They're all bad this ones. Is, yeah, <laughs> this, this is, is a pretty hard one though. I'm kind of in that one right now because like like what I said before, I'm too busy to read them, but then I have so many that I want to read and so yeah, it's hard to choose. When I get in this slump, I get overwhelmed by my TBR and, the, and, <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, no time! No time! <laughs> yeah. How do you solve this one? Read. Know. Just read. The only way I can think to do this one can. is to just read as many books as you can and then you'll have less books on your TBR. <laughs> Check in, mate. Comment down below if you have any reading slumps that you need help on getting out of. We would love to give you a little 
few pointers. If we can think of anything. If we can think of anything. I mean, we're going through the same struggles as you. So. We feel you. We're with you. <laughs> Book nerds unite. Okay, we're all we're in this together. I'm not gonna sing. Don't. Shh. That was her. That was not me that time. It's always me. Okay, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. We would love to know that you had a good time watching it, I guess. Oh, oh and also, comment down below if you have any advice for us. Yes. Because we need help. We do. Like I said, we're all in this together. Booker's gotta help each other out. Yep. Gotta be here for each other. We're alone. Make sure to click on the subscribe button in the corner down there if you want to be notified when we post new videos. We have new videos go up every Wednesday and every Saturday, so we will see you next time. Until then, I'm Audrey. And I'm Lauren. Keep on reading. I started to wave. Keep on reading. Keep on reading. <laughs>